Welcome to the internet black market, where cyber criminals buy, sell, barter, and trade you, or at least pieces of you, meaning your credit card, your bank information, passwords, logins, mother's maiden name, date of birth, phone numbers, anything that can be sold for a profit. The internet black market isn't a physical space like we've created here, but cybercrime is very real, and criminals have set up shop all over the internet and around the world. The items you see on display here represent what's readily available in the underground economy. Want to buy some malicious code and use it to steal credit cards? Or maybe you're looking for a new identity so you can impersonate someone else for financial gain. You've come to the right place. Credit cards, financial data, identities, and more are sold in the online marketplace using Internet Relay Chat Servers, also known as IRC. This life-size cutout represents a victim of complete identity theft. Her account number, birth date, social security number, mother's maiden name, and passport information are all available in one handy file for one-stop shopping. Gathering this much personal information is getting easier as people share more about themselves online through blogging and social networking. Financial information, IDs, and credit cards aren't the only thing for sale on the internet black market. So are the tools that help criminals, like web attack toolkits, botnet kits, keyloggers, and phishing kits. Fake antivirus scams are another common tool for hackers. Any of these look familiar? Cybercrime is a booming industry. Anyone and everyone that goes online is vulnerable to a cyber attack. The bad guys are out there, and they're organized. To see how sophisticated cyber criminal operations have become, step through this decoy door for a rare glimpse at how threats are manufactured and monitored. <laughs> 